I've been doing some thinking, and I genuinely think that these two have no chemistry. Like, sure, in storyline, they were friends in college. Did they really ever interact when we played them last time? Not really. I genuinely think they have both moved on from each other anyway. I, I feel like it's holding them back. So we're going to have to come up with a way for them to figure out who's going to move out of this house. Because I like to imagine they are both in love with this house, okay? Like, it has a nice little garden for Zach. Um, would he ideally want a bigger garden in the future? Yes, but, like, he's okay with this garden right now. Obviously, I mean, in this economy, like, you, you want a two-bedroom house. Like, Sky wouldn't necessarily just let that go, right? So I decided in order to figure it out, we're going to be playing a game of rock, paper, scissors. Whoever wins gets to keep the house. Let's go. Zach's keeping the house. <laughs> He's happy about it, too. Yeah, Sky's gonna have to leave. She's gonna have to find her own place on the computer. I feel like this is more the vibe. They will both be happier this way. So now Sky can focus on doing her own thing without being held back by her plant sim roommate. Um, Like I said, this is gonna be good for both of them, okay? And Zach can do whatever he pleases now as a plant sim, which is exciting. <laughs> So plant sims in my game tend to be pretty chill, but they also tend to be pretty rich. They only have three needs they need to take care of. Sunlight, water, and love. So obviously we just get some sunlight during the day, we take a shower. Uh, love's a bit more complicated though. But we, we have options for love. I mean, I say that and like, we, we don't really have options at all. We need to build our friendship circle. So I think that will be a goal. I mean, technically we could reproduce asexually, but I, I kind of want them to like meet people and talk to people first, you know, instead of just asexually reproducing and not even attempting to find a lover. We can talk to Jalen. Jalen is taken and pregnant, so, but we can be friends with Jalen. We're already friends with Jalen, actually. I need to keep up with my sims, honestly. If you're friends, you can, like, rub her belly. You can say hi to the baby. I, I love this interaction. It's so cute. And I feel like Jalen would like to have friends that are not super involved in the whole girl cheese thing because her husband is kind of, like, in a cult right now. She is kind of a part of it, kind of not. Um, She is not a girl cheese aspiration sim, but... A few people in town are, and it's getting kind of problematic. But that's okay. That's fine. We can have friends outside our, our little cult uh, social circle. However, he wants to flirt with Jalen. And honestly, I, I kind of want to see what happens when he does. Because I, I think Jalen has been getting kind of concerned about the whole cult thing. Um, so... Oh my god. I, I genuinely didn't think she would accept that. And they're in love. But, um, oh, okay, I panicked. What? That that didn't take you long, buddy. Yeah, um. I did not expect that. I thought I thought that she would turn him down right away, but like I, I guess grilled cheese gives her an ick. Like she's been eating too much grilled cheese. This is absolutely wild to me. Like, I I did not expect this at all. Um, you know, whatever. We're, we are rolling with it. Zach's a family sim. You'd think he wouldn't want to break up a, a marriage. But here we are. He's not particularly close to Gavin at all, but, like, he knows they're married. I, he was at the wedding. Get engaged to jail it. Dude. Calm down. <laughs> Calm down. J Jalen's married. Okay, instead of getting engaged, you can tickle her, okay? <laughs> like, calm down. <laughs> your your love meter is full. You're gonna you're gonna say goodbye and you both need to process what happened tonight, okay? I'm serious. You gotta pro process this. Okay. <laughs> Zach also owns the Mountain View Farmers Market, so it's one it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm gonna have him work because why not? People appreciate 24-hour grocery stores. Sometimes. Uh, Clay did not appreciate that, but it, it's okay. I swear, this woman is, like, our most loyal customer. I was initially gonna get these two together, but, like, 
Apparently, he likes Jalen, and Jalen likes him, so who am I to get in between them? Oh, Jalen's here. Jeez. Okay. And Gavin's here. You guys gotta be careful. You you go stand on your cash register. I do not want you getting in trouble. So, Gavin here, if you haven't been keeping up with this series, is Jalen's husband. Yeah, yeah, scratch your head. Uh, because this is a head-scratching situation. I'm taking a screenshot because it's kind of funny to me. Yeah, just casually browse the grocery section while your husband buys groceries behind you. Nothing suspicious here. I mean, you could go stand next to him and talk to the cashier, but, like, you're invested in these vegetables. Yeah, you're, you're buying some. Yeah, have a totally normal interaction here at the register. You guys were not making out hours earlier. You're just an employee and a customer. I don't know why he has it in his head he's gonna get engaged to Jalen, though. That is wild. I guess he's a family sim, so he does have those thoughts in his head. He wants to have six grandchildren, but, like, should it really be with Jalen? Especially since Jalen is pregnant with another man's baby right now. Like, that is absolutely wild to me. Meanwhile, he's picking these petals off a flower and wondering if, he, he, if Jalen loves him. Like, dude... Yeah, you can try again. Try again. See, see if you're more successful this time. Good job. She she loves you. Oh my god. He invited Jalen over because he's in need of some love. So we're gonna go greet her real quick. Can you guys go on a hike together? Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Go go on a hike. Is is being pregnant necessarily the best uh the best time to go on a hike? No. And she can't even fit into her hiking gear. I mean. That does not look comfortable, but whatever. They're going on a hike. Gavin, like, followed them, too. That is crazy. Maybe Gavin is a little bit suspicious now because he they he followed them, like, that way. Interesting. While on the hike, Zach noticed a bug and was able to capture it, later discovering that it's a striped spindler spider. It's been placed in Zach's bug box. Excellent. You can keep it there. I, I feel like you would. And now ACR is doing its thing, and I'm just gonna let it happen, I guess. I didn't expect scandal between these two, but here we are. I don't think I've ever been as shook as I am now for a uh, scandal in my Sims game. Like, this is pretty wild to me. Oh, it's a town. I don't care. We, we are busy. We're tickling Jalen in the bathroom. Like, we, we have more important things to do okay we can we can send her home once again i need you two to do some soul searching and figure out what's happening here because like it's crazy it would be easier doing this farm work if we had a helper we could just easily make a helper you, you know what i mean like we're not gonna kidnap anyone like clay did but we could just like Decide to make one. There's nothing stopping us. We we have free will. Wait, let's grow a baby. Having babies on a whim is definitely a good idea, by the way. I definitely endorse that. Um, there's a new family member on the way, and it's a boy. We're gonna name him Fern. I, I like giving them plant names, so he's Fern. So here we are. Fern roomies. I might give them a proper last name uh, eventually. Not sure. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I kind of like having, like, big plant sim communes, so keep that in mind. If you didn't already know, plant sim toddlers, like, grow into adults. Like, they don't have a child or teen phase, so little Fern here is gonna be an adult soon. And they already know how to, like, walk and talk. Like, these babies are smart. We're gonna teach Fern a nursery rhyme. He's not super into it, but I, I like my babies learning nursery rhymes. Especially, like, Plant Sims. I feel like it's like a plant sim tradition to pass on like a nursery rhyme. And plant sims are kind of interesting to me because you can turn them into regular sims. And I'm sure if we continue having like plant sim babies, one of them is not going to want to be a plant sim. So we might be having a plant sim turn into a human eventually. We'll see. But another thing I like to do for plant sim toddlers is put down a bunch of like skill building items mainly the creativity one i i want this sim to be creative because i might have them paint paintings in adulthood so we're gonna have fern practice his creativity 
he's gonna be our little money maker in the future, so he's gonna have to train. Um, and Jalen just appeared out of nowhere, but we're kind of freezing. It's kind of like a concern. So we might just go inside instead. Jalen seems to be accepting the fact that there is a random new baby in the house. Oh, she wants to hang out with the baby. I find them cute, okay? I love them. <laughs> Jalen and Zach are kind of cute together, and, and she is accepting the plants some life. Arguably better than she is accepting the uh, girl cheese life. I'm struggling between this baby having proper sunlight and not freezing to death. It, it, it's genuinely a problem. I know I could get a greenhouse, but like, we, we can't really afford it right yet. Um, we're trying our best. We're harvesting our plants in the middle of a snowstorm. Um, is this the ideal situation? No, but will it get us... Will it get us some money? Yes. Okay, so far we have 78 tasty strawberries, which is good. Uh, we're gonna immediately sell them. We're gonna pretend that it goes to the market, but, like, we're gonna sell them right now. And we got, like, a good, like, 1,500 simoleons from that. Like, that was a decent amount of change. And it's actually time for Fern to grow up, so I thought we'd throw a little mini party. Nothing exciting. Like, we didn't invite anyone over, but... We, we can celebrate just the two of us. And it's kind of funny watching a toddler turn into a grown man. And here we are. Here is a baby or adult fern. Um, oh, I did not consider his personality. We're, we're going to have to roll for it. Um, you're going to have to trust the process here. Because I'm rolling a dice off camera. And it's a four. And four is one, two, three, four. Romance. That's a little spicy, but that's fine. I kind of want him to be into younger sims, not older sims. So he's going to be attracted to blondes. Uh, logical blondes. Uh, <laughs> as they tend to be, you know. Um, and he's not going to be into brown hair, which is fine. But here we are. Here is adult fern, like I said. Um, I think he's handsome. The <laughs> the eyebrows are certainly interesting, but his father has some interesting facial hair too, so that's fine. What we are gonna do, though, is buy fern a easel. Because like I said, I want him to be the artist. I want him to make a good chunk of change painting. Dude, this man still wants to get engaged to Jalen. I, I don't know if that's the, the play, honestly. However, since the baby is you know, no longer a baby and is now a grown man. I think you can go and tend to your business. <laughs> I'm gonna buy him a phone just in case he wants to potentially, you know, hire employees. I kind of want to see, like, what's out there if I, uh, go and do that. Like, let's see who's available. <laughs> okay, so we got Kate, Olivia, Stanley, the friggin' mayor. You know you're down bad when you're a mayor. Uh, literally, and you're trying to apply to work at a grocery store. Uh, maybe that says a lot about the state of the town. And Travis. I feel like he would hire Kate. Like, he was, like, vaguely interested in her. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, make her a cashier. Yeah, she's gonna quit her job as a, either a police officer or a athlete. Um, and <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the athlete in The Sims 2, uh, but she's gonna quit her job and become a cashier at a grocery store. Okay, Kate's here for her first day at the job. Uh, I'm gonna ring up this customer first. Oh, g okay. <laughs> so now the reviewer lady is here, so I feel like I gotta pay attention to her. So Kate's gonna have to wait. Um, okay. Actually, what we'll do is I'm going to ask her to be cashier. And then we're going to focus on the the review lady. Uh, she, she did not like uh, my attempt at gassing her up. <laughs> we're going to show Cassidy our lovely groceries. Yeah, okay, see? She's here with her little stylish undercut. Um, we can we can work with that. I feel like all we have to do is talk to her about astrology, and she will give us a good review. Kate apparently didn't get the message, so tell her to be a cashier, please. Thank you. Get over there. And I just intend for Zach to, like, 
run the sales floor. Kay will get better at being a cashier. They're gonna be a good team. See, I think we're gonna have a good review here. I am totally not a robber. I am confused and don't know what to do in a grocery store. I need help. Don't worry. Pantman will help you. I don't- I, I don't know what's going on either. <laughs> Wow, you really know what you're doing. Mountain View Farmer's Market has impressed me so much that I'm giving you the best of the best award. Whenever you want to display it, just look for it in Zach's inventory. Excellent. I am gonna close for the day, though, because I don't want my employee to, like, quit on day one. Pretty bad at managing employees in this game. Um, before we leave, though, I do want to set her uniform if possible. Yeah, Zach was having a hard time due to, like, sun deprivation, so I'm just gonna send him home instead. We'll worry about the uniform later. So, Zach had, like, a nine-hour little shift over at his store, so we have a, a nine sim hours to just paint and vibe without another plant sim around. And he wants to reach creativity level four, so we're gonna attempt to do that. I do kind of want Fern to get out on the town and meet people because I feel like that's what most romance sims want, but we're, we're gonna just, you know, try to earn some money first. Dude, you, we are, why do you want to become friends with Jalen? I, I suppose she might be your future stepmother. I'm not entirely sure if we're gonna be breaking up a marriage just yet. We'll see. One thing we can afford right now, though, is a light for the inside oh we can't afford it never mind never mind for the record zach's first painting only sold for nine dollars um and i'm not really sure why he has four creativity points uh, i'm assuming this next one should be a bit better and by zach i mean fern okay i'm already getting my plant sims mixed up and i only have two of them uh but that's fine. <laughs> hey, Zach, is Fern available to talk? No, you're getting your plant sims mixed up, too. <laughs> Why would you talk to Fern when Zach is right there? 25. I, I really thought we'd be making bank. Um, but I guess we need to practice more. That's fine. Now, I suppose that these two could renovate their home to make it more plant sim friendly, and I feel like that would make sense. So maybe we'll be doing that in the next part. I do like the subtle foreshadowing about the fact that I made this kitchen super green and Zach ended up being a plant sim. It was like it was fate. But anyway, I think we're going to end the episode here. If you guys liked it, please give it a like. Subscribe if you want to see more Sims 2 content. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye, guys. Also, subscribe if you want to see more. I, I need an excuse to use this again.